So now in this video, I thought we would do a demonstration of how a single pull double throw switch works. So we have a common uh, terminal, in this case it's going to be a jumper. And that means it can go to one of two circuits. That's why it's common. It's, it's always part of the circuit. Although, right now, we have it to the left. We have to break that uh, circuit before we make the other circuit. Turn the other circuit on. So, there's... Uh, single pull double throw switches i think they're rare but uh it will actually connect the two of them at the same time while it's you know like halfway and so that would be a make the other a connection before it breaks the previous one um but then when you get it into the final position it will uh, be connected to just the one so in this case we can either have the left side on or we can have the right side on the way we have it wired up and that's the way that this switch works so this should be the uh, common right there, although this one doesn't say common on it. But right now, due to how we have that indication, I haven't used this in a long time, it looks like it's making a connection between those two right now. If I get it like halfway, it will probably be like disconnected, but this one doesn't want to like stay halfway. It wants to uh, flip, you know, quickly to the other one. And uh, so like halfway, it's probably like disconnected, but then off to the right, it should be connected to these two. So that's how you would use the actual switch. Now, this is also a single pull uh, double throw, you know, one uh, movement. So that's the comm right there. It can either be connected up there or down there. This one though, if you don't have current going through the coil, right now nothing's being powered. And so the uh, connection is gonna be be between a com and NC normally closed so closed means there's a connection it's a close you can see there's an opening there it's a gap so that's open but uh, it's normally open so no current flowing through these two are going to be connected but uh, you power this and uh, when this module looks like uh, you give it a signal when this module uh, energizes the coil it wants to uh, switch it then, uh, normally this is open, but you energize the coil, that's not the normal position. It moves over there where those two uh, connect. And again, I'm really certain that it's a break before make when it comes to this uh, module right there. So, that's uh, really common. Now, there's also a lot of uh, relays if you see six terminals. There'll be uh, two common pins. If it's, uh, if it's a relay, there's mechanical switches that do this too, but I think it's mostly relays. Um, there's two uh, common terminals, and when it comes to the switching, uh, you know, it, the layout would be like this. I've done videos with the relays where I had uh, four LEDs, and then two of them were on at the same time, but this would actually be to the left. When this one's to the left, that one's to the left. Then when you energize the coil, that would be the normally closed spot. When you energize the coil, they both move to the right, but they're still independent of each other other than moving at the same time. So if you got a circuit over here and you got a circuit over there and then like a separate circuit for the uh, coil and powering the module or whatever, um, then whatever you got going on here has no effect what's going on there other than they're being switched at the same time. So that would be double pull, uh, double throw in that case. Just remember they're both in the same uh, direction whichever the one is the other one is in so in any case uh, if you're new to switches hopefully that uh, help clear things up um, this is uh, really common in electronics if you buy a relay module you're probably going to have a single pull double throw uh, switch for the relay and even the mechanical switches um, it's uh, not uh, as common other than like push button switches you know, where you have an on-off state, um, although they're normally open until you press the button. Uh, it's uh, really common to come across switches where your common terminal can either go into one position or the other position. Gives you a lot more options than just a on-off switch. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help a lot. I'll see you in the next video.